my program, recital program around Carnegie. <laughs> it was usually the last concert of the whole tour. Because that hall is really intimidating. You can feel like, well, just the history of it. You know, so many, all my idols, everybody has played there. Being a pianist, the most distinguished part is you're always alone. I realized collaborating with people that that's the way to learn music and to learn not just music, to learn about life. I think that's what keeps me going. I mean, I, I need that kind of nourishment, that kind of stimulation or like inspiration. So for my perspectives, rather play a recital, I, I chose to uh, play with friends and mentors because they are the source of my inspiration for doing what I'm doing. I decided to invite all of them. My dad is a percussionist. I grew up hearing music in a very rhythmic way. And then when I first heard Martin, I was just very blown away. It's almost like a magician. But in the end, the concert's gonna be like a rock and roll feeling because of this edgy, rhythmical, kind of primitive almost. And it's also fun to play with four guys. <laughs> <laughs> working with Leonidas. He's like a great god of violin. This year, we had 15 concerts in like three different continents in 16 days. So, <laughs> and he is the perfect person to, to travel with. He's always calm, <laughs> always, you know, so on top of things. I, I learned so much from him. He emphasized on being spontaneous. We never need to rehearse, you know, we rehearse and then it's like, oh, we don't even need to rehearse because we breathe together. Phrase-wise, we just always end up together. <laughs> and of course, there's uh, MTT. I know him since 17. He heard me in a rehearsal. He felt the connection. <laughs> We're going to do a concert together with a creation of his, his own, the Miami New World Symphony just a very inspired figure. What we do is what we've been doing since we were kids. Of course, there's a connecting to the soul and the spirit and like religiousness. It's not that all the time. One way of treating it is, is, is using humor. Those two guys are so funny and they're the coolest people. They're just like full of ideas and just cracks me up. Just the thought of like, oh, me being in a, their show is something completely I've never done. It's very outside of myself and I have no idea what they're gonna make me do. What the hell is this? Hola! But this is you, Joe Wang. What we do in life, it, it is a serious work. Lots of discipline, lots of devotion, lots of all this, but in the end, we do have lots of fun. You know, I just can't wait. I am gonna have all the people that's close to my heart to do this in my home city. And it's Carnegie, oh my God. <laughs>